Right, this is the video for Required Practical 4, where you've got to investigate the name effect of a named variable on the permeability of cell surface membranes. In this practical, we've chosen alcohol concentration, but it could quite easily be uh, temperature effect on permeability or pH effect on permeability of cell surface membranes. So, alcohol concentration is the independent variable, and the leakage of pigment from the beetroot cell is the dependent variable. In this practical, there are two different ways that you can measure the leakage of pigment. You can do it qualitatively, um, or you could do it quantitatively, and we'll go through what they are um, in a minute. So, uh, two parts to this practical. Part one is where you do a serial dilution. Uh, so, going from, you can see on the, on the next table, so part one, we've gone from uh, a constant, so we're making six different concentrations, so serial dilution of, of extract. Again, um, how you get the, the volumes of beetroot, so your stock solution is 100%. So if you want to make up a 20% ext extract, 20% of 5 millilitres gives 1. So 0 0.2 times 5, that means 1 mil. 40%, so 0 0.4 times 5 gives 2 mils. 60% solution, 0 0.6 times 5 gives 3. To make up an 80% solution, 0 0.8 times by 5 gives 4. And then each of these you add up to make a total volume of 5, so all the volumes are the same uh, with water. And that gives the following concentrations of extract. You then use a colorimeter to uh, get the absorbance of each of these values. You can then use that to plot a calibration curve, and we'll come on to that later. So in part one, we created a calibration curve with the known uh, beetroot pigment concentrations. For part two, what we've got is the, the for part two, what we've got is we've got a series of known alcohol uh, concentrations. We're putting in the beetroot in them, and we're measuring the amount of pigment that that comes out, and we can measure the amount of pigment that's come out either qualitatively or quantitatively. Just a couple of things that, that are really important. Um, highlighted uh, five different control variables here. There are all usually, vast majority of the time, two marks for control variable answer. First mark point allows comparison and the second mark point, if you change this, this value, so for example if you change the temperature it would affect the amount of pigment leaked from the beetroot. If you change the time incubated for, it would affect the amount of pigment leaked from the beetroot. So always related to the dependent variable. So what can you do with the results that you've got? Well, the first thing you can do with your serial dilution um, is a calibration curve. So our known concentrations, our serial dilution of concentration extracts, going from 0 to 100%. We measured the absorbance of each using a colorimeter. So plot the calibration curve. Then what we do is you can either measure the concentration, actually, there's an error here, there should be a percentage sign after, after a slash there. Um, so you can measure the percentage of the pigment solution uh, from each alcohol concentration, either qualitatively or quantitatively. You would expect to see as the alcohol concentration increases, so does the amount of beetroot pigment in the liquid that surrounded the beetroot. Qualitative, this was where, what was actually in the, the method, where with each of your tubes you just simply hold it up next to your serial dilution of, pe of beetroot extracts and which colour matches the closest and that is the percentage of alcohol, uh, not percentage of alcohol, that is the percentage concentration of extract that was leaked out at that alcohol concentration. That's very subjective uh, judgment of colour. So qualitative is not very accurate. Then what you can do after that is you can do a quantitative uh, reading, which is much better. It's numerical value, it's not subjective. So in each of your values that you got for each alcohol concentration, you can use the colorimeter, find the absorbance, and then read off the calibration curve above. So uh, if you got at a certain alcohol concentration, you've got a value of 0 0.5, you read off the absorbance of 0 0.5, read across, read down, and that is the concentration of beetroot extract uh, that you had at that value. As you can see, that is completely numerical and not subjective. Here are a series of questions that we've got um, all based on this required practical.
I'm here in the mark schemes.